Hey guys, just got another awesome, awesome software update. Let me go through them and test them out. Driving visual visualization. Uh, the driving visualization has been adjusted to automatically zoom in and out, better utilize screen space, and inform you when a vehicle is detected on your blind spot. That's great. The visualization remain, remains zoomed out when when driving on the highway. Okay, we'll test it out. Sentry mode improvement. So now the icon is right there. And then you can uh, program your car. If you go to uh, control, safety, and security, sentry mode on, you can do that. And then it will be on all the time when you leave the car. You don't have to reignite it through your app. And you can avoid home and work if you would like. Let's let's take, let's see this. Uh, here is the sentry mode. Now it's on. You see that? can do that this way or you can go to um, to here no you don't want to go to here you go to here safety and security uh, and practices security alarm um, cabin protection sentry mode there it is on now it will be on all the time exclude home exclude work and I can exclude other things. I'm going to leave it. See, it's right there. Awesome. I love it. Uh, now, let's go back. This is, by the way, the version 9, 2019, 16, 2, 73D3, blah, blah, blah. Doesn't matter. Who cares? Uh, lane departure. So, lane departure avoidance. Uh, you can actually program it by going to uh, autopilot lane departure avoidance, and then it will steer you back with a nudge it will steer you back with the nudge if you drift uh, between 25 and 90 miles per hour 40 to 145 kilometers per hour if you go off the road a little bit it will gently steer you back into the road if you not if you don't have your uh, indicator and there's also an emergency one uh, to improve safety emergency lane departure avoidance is designated to steer back Okay, this is like in an emergency, you can go to autopilot emergency late departure avoidance. So that's great, that improves. Software update uh, pre uh, preferences, you may have an option to receive so as soon as they become available. And you can go to software, control software, update advanced. Okay, I will do that. And then you can get Swedish language if you'd like. Okay, speak Swedish? I do not speak Swedish. So let's go to uh, this, what was it? Lane departure, autopilot. So let's do this. Uh, let's go here. Uh, autopilot, okay, summon, speed limit warning. Uh, speed limit, uh, okay, forward collision. Okay, lane departure. Lane departure, emergency lane departure. I want that. Yes, I want that. This is great. This is awesome. Look at this. This is really awesome. Now it's going to be on without me asking it to be on because I programmed it this way. And except for home and work where we, it's fine. We don't need that. Great stuff. Thank you guys. Hope, hope we'll see how it works.